I really can't stay. Maybe it's cold outside. I've got to go away. Maybe it's cold outside. The evening has been I'm hoping that you drop in. So very nice. I'll hold your hand, sir, just like My I. My mother will start to worry. Beautiful, what's your hurry? Father will be pacing the floor. Listen to the fireplace. So really, roll. I'd better scurry. Beautiful, please don't hurry. Maybe just to have a drink more. Put some records on while I go. Neighbors might think. Maybe it's bad out there. Say what's in this drink? No caps to be had out there. Now I wish I knew how. Your eyes are like starlight to now. To break a spell. I'll take your hat, your hair looks well. I ought well. to say no, no, no. Mind if I'm moving close. At least I'm gonna say that I tried. What's the sense in hurting my pride? I really can't stay. Baby, don't hold out. Baby, I bet it's cold outside. I've got to get home. But baby, it's freeze out there. Say let me go. It's up to your knees out there. Really been grand. Thrilled when you touch my. Why don't you see? How can you do this thing to It's me? It's bound to be dark tomorrow. Think of my lifelong At sorrow. least there will be plenty of flies. If you've got pneumonia, I and really die. can't stay. Get over that holdout. Ah, oh, but it's cold outside. Oh, baby, it's cold outside. Oh, baby, it's cold outside. Parker Level with Trending Now. And this Halloween season, deadly clowns might be what's trending now. These dang old clowns are launching assaults on our good Christian neighborhoods. Well, we won't stand for it. And now here's clown activist Larry Lambert with his side of the story. I'm just trying to make a living here for me and my missus, but I barely feel safe as of recent trying to walk the streets with all this clown hate mongering going on around. <laughs> It's called phobics, what it is. There ain't no other way to put it. See, the actions of just a few rogue carnies, that doesn't truly represent the whole clown agenda. You know, I have a dream. Maybe one day, all us clowns won't be judged by the paint on our face, but by the quality of our slapstick. Clearly, this is a controversial issue, but I think I take special caution this Halloween season. Parker Lovell, trending now. The 1920s was a revolutionary time for the life of the everyday woman. Expression and immodesty had reached a new high, causing the makeup industry to be introduced in homes across the country. Beauty culture was birthed in salons, manicure parlors, and vanities everywhere. The range of cosmetics that women wore at this time depended on how she wanted to present herself, and that is something true today. Personal hygiene was first introduced in the 1920s. Women were expected to have a clean, fresh face and grooming things like eyebrows and other misplaced hairs was essential. Top it off with some cold cream or vanishing cream to keep the face young and hydrated. Theatrical makeup at this time was the root of the makeup industry. Famous makeup creators like Max Factor started out in the theatrical makeup industry and moved to everyday use. 
One of the popular cosmetics that translated from the stage to everyday women was foundation, or back then called paint, which was used to lighten the skin. However, this was still not a very popular product. Most women would just use tinted powders instead. And with the invention of the compact pressed powder, it became a normalized thing for a woman to pull out her compact and powder her nose in public. Rouge was one of the most common products in women's makeup collections. Often ranging in red, pink, and orange tones, it was applied to the apples of the cheeks. Rouge, or what we now call blush, could be found in powder, cream, or liquid. Now this is where the older country or conservative woman would be ready for her day, or if she was feeling a little adventurous, she might apply some lipstick in a natural tone. Eye makeup was something that defined someone as a bad girl, so it wasn't extremely common. Part of this is also from the fact that eye makeup was not half as easy to apply then. The famous flapper of this decade would often be seen with eyes lined with dark smudged coal. And of course, long lashes to accompany her eyeliner. Mascara came in cake, wax, or liquid form with a brush, making it very difficult to apply. Maybelline was the leading mascara brand and is still in drugstores today. And now on to my favorite part of any look, the lipstick. The metal retractable tube that was invented in this time drastically changed the use of lipstick. This portable, easy to apply color could completely vamp up a look. A bright red would be applied in a cupid's bow shape. Stencils were a slight fad to get the perfect lip shape. A touch up of red nail polish and a dress and you're ready to go to the next speakeasy in Charleston the night away. I modeled this look after my favorite description of a flapper. Cheeks blooming peony, eyes two smudges of dusty shadow black, and lips cruel with scarlet. Makeup allows expression. It can let you enhance and transform. The 1920s allowed women to break boundaries like never before, and the modern woman began to take shape, eventually molding into how we know her today. Just do it. Walk along the razor's edge, but don't look down, just keep your head. Hey, Justin. Hey, it's Aaron.
Southern leaves, southern trees we hung from. Barren souls, heroic songs unsung. Forgive them, Father, they know this not as undone. Tied with the rope that my grandmother died. Pride of the pilgrims affect lives of millions. In slave days, separating fathers from children. Institution ain't just a building. But a method of having black and brown bodies fill them. We ain't seen as human beings with feelings. Will the U.S. ever be us, Lord willing? For now we know the new Jim Crow. The stop, search, and arrest our souls. Police and policies patrol. Philosophies of control. A cruel hand taking hold. We let go to free them so we can free us. America's moment to come to Jesus. Bird sings for freedom to ring. Black bodies being lost in the American dream. Blood of black being a pastoral scene. Slavery still alive. Check Amendment 13. Not whips and chains are subliminal. Instead of nigger, they use the word criminal. Sweet land of liberty, incarcerated country. Shot me with your ray gun and now you want to trump me. Prison is a business. America's the company. Investing in the justice, fear, and long suffering. We staring in the face of hate again, the same hate they say will make America great again. No consolation prize for the dehumanized, for America to rise is a matter of black lives. And we gon' free them so we can free us, America's moment to come to Jesus. Tiger, work hard, eat right with Kellogg's Frosted Flakes as part of a complete breakfast. And never stop earning your stripes.
take a look at the most popular Halloween costumes of the years. I'm Nathan Wright reporting on What's Trending Now. 20 years ago, Scream was the most popular costume on Halloween. By 1998, South Park characters took over the holiday, and in 2001, millions of Harry Potters were out trick-or-treating. By 2007, everyone was putting on a blonde wig so they could get the best of both worlds. Robin Thicke's iconic pinstripe suit and Miley Cyrus's flesh-colored two-piece dominated in 2013. 2014 was a year of Frozen, and 2015 was all about Katy Perry's left shark. So what will be trending this Halloween? Will it be Suicide Squad's Harley Quinn? Maybe a Pokemon Go trainer? Harambe? I decided to get the answers from EKU students. So what are you going to be for this Halloween? Well, actually, I made like a little blue devil costume. I actually made the horns and everything myself, so that's what I'm going to be. There's nothing really in particular. I guess if I had to choose something, it would be The Flash, because I'm just on that series right now. Halloween, I'm thinking maybe like the Stanley Cup. This has been Nathan Wright, and that's what's trending now. Taco Bell. Think outside the bun.